Fluorophore conjugated antibodies are essential tools for research, especially in multicolor flow cytometry and microscopy, allowing for the detection of specific antigens and epitopes. One common family of fluorescent molecules includes synthetic organic dyes such as alexafluors, psi dyes, and others. The fluorescence of these molecules is generated by the electron circuit created by rigid hydrocarbon structures. More than one of these fluorophores are conjugated to a single antibody and the brightness of the overall signal is based roughly on the sum of all the fluors. Over the years, modifications of the molecules in this family have led to improved photostability. Another fluorescent family consists of the phycobiliproteins, which are large, naturally derived proteins, covalently attached to multiple phycobilins that act as chromophores. PE and APC are examples of such proteins. Due to their large size, typically only one protein is attached to an antibody, but they are extremely bright compared to synthetic organic dyes. Tandem molecules of PE and APC with acceptors like Psi5 and Psi7 have proven to be effective for expanding multicolor options, but phycobilly proteins continue to be plagued with poor photostability. More recently, semiconductor nanocrystals containing heavy metal cores, also known as quantum dots, have been introduced for use in flow cytometry. When excited by UV or violet light, excitation of the nanocrystal can lead to bright fluorescence. The emission wavelengths can be tunable by changing the size of the nanocrystal. However, nanocrystals can be difficult to work with, often being unstable in fixatives or organic solvents, and having sometimes limited permeability to intracellular targets. Here we introduce a family of novel fluorophores named Brilliant Violet, based on high sensitivity fluorescence technology developed by Cirogen. Quite unlike the other families, brilliant violet molecules are long polymers of repeating fluorescent units that act as a single fluorophore, possessing an extraordinary capacity to absorb energy and high efficiency to convert that energy into emitted signal. Any subunit within the polymer can capture the energy from violet light, transmitting the energy along the backbone of the polymer, resulting in the excitation and subsequent emission of fluorescence from the polymer. The first in the series is Brilliant Violet 421. It has discrete excitation and emission spectra similar to standard organic dyes. It excites optimally at 405 nanometers and emits optimally at 421 nanometer wavelengths. Measurable characteristics of a fluorophore can describe how bright it is. The extinction coefficient is the capacity to absorb energy, and the quantum yield is the efficiency in converting that energy to an emitted signal. Compared to Pacific Blue, BV421 has a significantly higher extinction coefficient on par with PE. Along with a high quantum efficiency, this translates to an extremely bright molecule. With Brilliant Violet comes Brilliant Features. For lowly expressed antigens, Brilliant Violet 421 can increase signal of positively stained cells, allowing for greater resolution of positive, intermediate, and negative populations. In this case with CD127, the BV421 signal is more than tenfold better than Pacific Blue. Furthermore, there is no increase in signal from the negative population, demonstrating that BV421 antibodies have minimal background staining. The antibodies do not require any special buffers for use, so they can easily be added to any panel or protocol. They are stable to fixation with paraformaldehyde and organic solvents, such as methanol, and due to the inert nature of the fluorophore, they have no special requirements for disposal. Brilliant Violet 421 can be used for intracellular staining as well as cell surface staining. Staining profiles are comparable to those seen with other fluorophore conjugates. BV421 conjugates can also be used for sorting live cells. Mouse cells stained with BV421 or Pacific Blue conjugated to anti-CD4 were sorted, CFSE labeled, and then stimulated with anti-CD3, CD28. Analysis of CFSE dilution upon cell division revealed that BV421 stained and sorted cells were fully responsive to activation, demonstrating that it is no more toxic than Pacific Blue. Photostability is critical for microscopy applications. 
Photostability curves reveal that BV421 loss in fluorescence from photobleaching is significantly less than that of Pacific Blue. Additionally, the BV421 starting signal is much brighter than that of Pacific Blue. These images of cells stained with CD3 BV421 or CD45 Pacific Blue demonstrate the long-lasting fluorescence of BV421 upon prolonged light exposure.